the night Out of sight Got in the shower, brush my teeth, wash my face. Because today is a refresh day. Even though if it wasn't a refresh day, then I would still be doing this stuff. But yeah, I'm recording. So today's a refresh day. I didn't show you guys me washing my face because you've seen that. Like, you've already seen that in my prior video. In my prior videos. But in today's video, it's I'm going to be completing my it's not it's not a refresh day, it's a restart day. So I'm gonna be completing that. I'm looking in my mirror, guys, because I rather look in my mirror than my phone camera to moisturize my skin. But um, I've already gotten in the shower and brushed my teeth and washed my face. I have to clean up my room, fold my clean up my room, make me something to eat. Then I'm gonna fold my clothes and then I'm gonna get ready for church. Church starts at well, church started at nine, but I decided to go to the later service today. I'm going with a couple friends. Um, yeah. Well, I'm not going with a couple friends. I'm meeting a couple friends. We're all just gonna go to church. Yeah, so that is today's video, so. Okay, guys, I don't know about y'all, but this is literally what my bed looks like every morning before I wake up. I didn't even sleep this wild last night. I don't know why it's this messy. Actually, I do. My covers slip off so easily because I got silk sheets. But I'm about to make this up because I do not. This is a habit that I form form since I moved back in with my mom. I do not sleep. I cannot leave the house with my bed made. Like there could be like a little bit of clothes on the floor, but I cannot leave this house without my bed made. So I'm about to make my bed. I really don't. I need a throw cover, like a real one, because I have a Hello Kitty one. Ooh, that lightning. Lightning. Lighting. LOL. I have a Hello Kitty one, and I have a Mickey Mouse one, but those really are not the move. Those are my blankies. I've had those since I was, especially the Hello Kitty one. But I need more pillows. I need a throw cover. This is why I haven't showed you guys my room yet. Like, look at how bare this wall is. This wall used to have pictures on it, but they fell. The only picture that is still in there is the picture of me when I was a kid. But yeah. The bed is made. We're gonna move on to the rest of the room. As long as you got your eyes, got your trippy on them private dress, taking trips, come back at six, wake me and your child. And then won't lay today, make me wonder who you might have been playing with. Makes me wonder who you think you're playing with. I'm just a myself to keep playing this. Make her back over and over again. Sweat change, but I know that's the end. I want you on scene. Think you know your girl's so funny to me. That's why you think I left by one more time. Got tired of your shit, you almost took my life. Long stay, call your name. Girl, continue to try to play these games. Leave your family in the cold and rain. And I don't think you'll ever change your way. Cause our house is not a home 
got tired of your shit, you almost lost your mind. Alright y'all, I didn't finish straightened up my room. Only thing I really need to do is fold my clothes, but I'm gonna do that after I eat because I'm getting a little shaky, lightheaded. So come downstairs with me. I'm about to make breakfast, y'all. Look how much trash, like look how much tra trash bag I waste. Like every time I change my trash, I just don't like my trash can is so little, so like when it's trash like this in there, it looks like it's overflowing. So I don't like that. So this is how much trash bag I waste. But it's fine. They were a dollar or a dollar tree. Okay, guys. I thought of my hair because I want my braids to be, like, not, like, poofy right here for when I go to church. But for breakfast today, I'm going to be drinking a smoothie um, and eating eggs and waffles. If you know me, you know that I am not a breakfast girl. I eat it because it's supposed to be your most important meal of the day. So I'm going to start by making a smoothie. This is the berries that I'm going to be using. I ran all out of strawberries, but this is pretty good. It has... Strawberries, bananas, dark sweet cherries, dragon fruit, and cranberries. I didn't even know that it had cherries in there. But I've already ate some of it. I mean, used some of it, so it isn't that bad with the cherries, I guess. I also am going to put another banana in it because I love like the flavor of banana in sweet. So I'm going to cut that up and put that in there. Almond milk, it doesn't matter what kind, but the man handed me vanilla almond milk from the freezer because they didn't have it on the shelf. I don't know why he handed me vanilla, but it's still good. So I pull it to the where it says max. Mm. Or a little bit under. It matters how much food. I didn't put that much food in there. So I'm gonna put this stuff. Up. So the next thing I have is this, it's called AG1. I'm gonna show you on the back. Of course, it's not sponsored, but this is how good this stuff is. It's very expensive. Like, it's a little bit on the expensive side, honestly, but it's it's really good for you. It's, it got all your grains. It has 75 vitamins, vitamins, minerals, and whole food. And it's made for everybody. So, this is the, like, the support for it. It gives you energy, an immune system, gut health, gut health and digestion, liver function, hormone function, brain, and... Girl, it's all type of stuff on here. If y'all want to buy it, I guess I'll put the link down below. Again, it's not a sponsor, of course, but this is really good. So, you pour it. I guess you pour it in here because that's what my mama did. So, I'm going to put some of this in here. And it's not it's, it's not a bad taste. So, you can pour as much as you want in here. I'm going to put a little bit more fruit in my <laughs> I usually shake it first off this green stuff always gets stuck in the bottom so I shake it and then I hear to see if there's any like fruit juice on it that's enough so taste it don't do this do not try this at home because it is a blade pretty good pretty good pour it in a cup It looks so unappealing, but it's actually pretty good. Um, I put foil 
over it because I don't have a cup with a lid, but I'm gonna order some off Amazon. Like, they come with a lid and a straw. So, do this to the foil. I drip it in a little square. And then, I like this. I'm not gonna stick the straw in it yet because I'm not done with the rest of my breakfast, but I usually, we have colorful straws in here. And I usually just stick the straw in there. I always be careful for some reason. But I'm about to put this in the refrigerator so it doesn't like get unthick. And then I'm about to make my waffles and eggs. You guys might think I'm weird, but I like my eggs. <clears throat> Lord, got a little horse there. I like my eggs a little runny in the middle. I'm only cooking one egg, one waffle because that smoothie is really gonna fix me up, fix me up, fill me up. And yeah, I don't wanna waste food that I know that I'm not gonna eat. I was gonna cook two of each, but with that smoothie, that's my breakfast. So again, I put way too much oil in here. So let's soak a little up. Again, I like my egg ready in the middle, so you crack the egg, put it on high, crack the egg, lay it out. I'm pretty sure y'all know how to do this, but yeah, lay it out like this, and don't touch it. When it starts, like the white egg whites start cooking, then I'm going to put salt and pepper on there. Sea salt and pepper on there. We have like big pepper. And I'm eating a waffle. Not a waffle that you cook in a cup. Waffle maker, I personally like the ones that put in the toaster better. A regular old waffle. Mm -hmm. So y'all see the egg whites cooking a little. I dropped banana in that shoe. For the people who actually comment, I want you guys to comment down below what do you do on Sundays? I know a lot of people like it's family day. A lot of people go to church. A lot of people just chill, you feel me? I was one of those people who just chill, like, you know. But I am working today. I'm going to church. So, yeah. <laughs> I didn't put that much syrup because I don't really like syrup. But breakfast is served. I'm serving breakfast. Got a cake, got a skirt, let's see. Amen. I'm hungry. Mm. Mm. Okay, y'all. Let's see what I'm going You'll be able to win this one But she's somebody else in the making First, she just gotta stop all the faking And she'll be there But 
she's wondering if it's gonna fail. I think I'm just going to put it down, guys, because this right here is not giving. It's kind of cute. Okay, the movie food is here in our restaurant. This is happening now. Do you need a diversion? I'll scream. Let's bribe them. Jack, take out the lettuce and replace it with the $20 bill that I took out of your wallet. Oh, or tape it to his back. That's not how a bribe works, Tina. Okay. Everybody calm down. So I don't usually do my edges, but because I have my hair in a front, so and my edges are white because my hair is dirty because I'm taking these off. Then we're going to soak a deep breath. A little small. Like that. Oh. Where'd Tina go? Okay, so this is the top. And then this is one of my vacant spaces. It used to be a burger restaurant. Hi, Bob. Hey, Mr. Fish. How are you? This is what I'm wearing. Burger. Good. Uh, I'm in the car. I'm not gonna record me driving because I'm gonna listen to my gospel music. Um as I should, but yeah, I hope I'm not late to lurk. Late to lurk. Late to church because I'm low on gas and I cannot drop this car with no gas. So I will not be stopping on this fine Sunday. And it'll give a reason to make my day not go as well as it's going. So I'm going to talk to y'all while I'm getting gas. Maybe, I don't know. Or maybe when I get out of church. But I'll okay, see y'all so I just made it back from church and it was great. The message, the message today was, it's grind time. Like, y'all, like. In the um the Bible verse was like it was basically he was basically saying those who work for the things that they want are blessed those who don't then your plate is always going to be empty and he was just talking about how like people just expect everything to be handed to them and then they get first they they look at everybody's out like the people who's doing good outcoming but they don't know what the people who who are doing good went through to get to where they are it was great but I'm back home I took off my jacket and. My shoes. I'm about to hold these clothes, y'all. I'm having a really good day. Like, like I'm having a really good day. I'm, my head is kind of hurting, and I'm kind of hungry. Um, I should make me two eggs and two waffles, but I probably gonna make me another waffle or something. But I'm about to fold these clothes. Actually, I'm about to change my clothes, and then I'm about to fold these clothes. She's our cars down on the table knowing there's no way that you'll be able to win this one but she's somebody else in the making first she's just gotta stop all the faking and she'll be there but she's wondering if it's gonna fail us just forever. Wondering if it's gonna fail us just whenever she leaves her safe space. She leaves her safe space. Wondering if it is forever. Or is there some place that will make her feel better? Make her feel better. Then that's where she'll go. I'm about to teach y'all how to make the best snack ever. So first you need a Velveeta. Do not get no other macaroni cups. Get a Velveeta macaroni cup. Turkey sausage, y'all. Like, that's the main ingredient. Well, the macaroni is the main ingredient. So you want to get some turkey sausage. I got Hillshire turkey smoked sausage. Okay. So I didn't bring my tripod down here. So we're going to use something to hold you guys up. So, my camera cut off per usual because the phone is crazy right here. So you wanna get a sausage. Don't overdo the sausage, y'all, okay? Do not overdo it. I don't know why this sausage is wet, but I don't have any wet food, so I'm gonna dry the sausage off. So about this much sausage, this probably is gonna be a little too much. And you wanna cut it like this. Oh, you also need a little pan so you can, you know, fry the sausage. Um, I'm gonna have to do that pan that I cook my 
I would tell you. You don't need no grease or nothing because meat makes its own grease. So you want to cut the sausages like so. Uh, cut them like this. You can keep them round like this or you can cut them in half. I usually cut them in half. So yeah, this is way too much sausage. So I'm cutting the sausage, cutting the sausage. Okay. And then cut them in half. I can turn this on. I don't really do. Okay, a couple more pieces won't hurt. Actually, just one more piece. And then, look, y'all. I'm gonna move this up here so y'all can see. This is how they look so far. Like, just cut in half. I'm not gonna use this big glob of sausage. But sometimes I cut them in pieces. No matter how soft, not all of them. I don't know. I'm very uneven, Steven. Then you wanna throw them in the pan. Okay? Now, 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 now. Turn it off a little bit because I don't want them to overcook. Okay, so now you want to take your Velveeta cup, right? Right, right. You want to take your Velveeta cup and remove the lid. I always forget, even though I eat this very often, I always forget if I remove the whole lid or not. You want to take off the cheese sauce, try to get all the little white powder. I don't know what it is, but I'm pretty sure it's important because that's why it's in here. It's a little line in here. Y'all see that line? Y'all gonna put the water. It don't matter what type of water, like powder coat. Put it to that line. Do not let it overfill that line. Or your, it should be right below that line. Or your macaroni is gonna be watery. Now, the cup say three and a half minutes. Put it in there for three minutes. Because three and a half minutes is gonna make soggy. And no one likes soggy macaroni. Sorry, this one. I was keeping my phone held up. So I'm gonna put it in the microwave for three minutes. Sorry, our microwave is broke. You gotta do it manually. Y'all hear my microwave? My macaroni is done. But my sausage is not done. So it's a little watery. Just gonna mix it before you put in the cheese. Mix it so that I think it's starch. It's, that, that was the white stuff starch. So you mix it, right, guys? Oh my goodness. Y'all see the ghetto curtain? I don't want anybody to see that until the blinds get put back up. But that's real life, y'all. The blinds fell down. The dogs be running through them before they So, put the little cheese, pack it in, get all that cheese sauce from the corner. Why did I just say cheese sauce? Cheese is the sauce. Like, you don't have to add the sauce part on it. So, get all the cheese as much as you can. Okay. Now, Mix it real good, y'all. Mix it, mix it, mix it, mix it, mix it, mix it, mix it. Mix that bad boy up. Oh, this is actually look really cheesy, so I'm not even gonna add any more Velveeta cheese. But let me show y'all. Y'all can add, if it's not cheesy enough, you can add this Velveeta cheese, or you can add like a little shredded piece of the cheese. But I'm gonna add Italian cheese because Italian cheese is very good. I love Italians never met one but i just know that i love them so put that that's way too big a piece of cheese so that way to fill in the counter so that's what it looks like with that Italian cheese now i usually put slap your mama in here and cayenne pepper but yeah i didn't have one like my stomach has been burning and i know it's because i have my spicy food intake is way too high so i'm cutting back on spicy things and Slap your mama is a spicy seasoning, so I'm gonna put up some sea salt. I was gonna say a little bit, but I know it's not a little bit. And I'm gonna put some black pepper. Now, oh, and I'm gonna put some seasoning on because this ain't enough. No, this will do. Y'all can season it however y'all want. Put whatever y'all want in it. Now, after you season, season it to your own likes, you put your sausage bits in there okay do not leave it sitting on top that's like defeats the purpose mix it in real good make it real cheesy look at how good this look y'all yes sir oh my mouth is watering i'm about to come out I used to go upstairs and eat this so this is what i used to eat every day after school but i don't eat it every day after school because i don't know why but 
I eat it. I do still eat it a lot. But this right here, if y'all try this because of me, let me know how y'all try. Y'all got to use turkey sausage. If you like pork sausage, you can put bacon in there. Any type of, you feel me? Let me know how it go. Let me know how you like it. But I'm about to go upstairs, eat this, and take a nap. And I'll pick you guys back up when I'm done taking a nap. All right. I know I said I was pick y'all back up when I wake up from my nap, but I just want to try to take the first bite with me. Cut a skirt, got a skirt, but it's a good bite. This name ain't making it. Let's see. Amen. This right here would never let you down. Never, ever. And it don't even taste bad without the slap your mama. Oh. Well, and I look a hot mess. I look tired. My lips is ashy. I feel like my lips been ashy this whole video, but come on. But look at how dirty this shirt is. This shirt usually get dirty, but I don't think this grease, this is pure grease on me, but I'm gonna take my second shower of the day. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. I usually do not take two showers of two showers a day. Like, no, my science teacher used to tell me Back when I was elementary, there's some dirt that lays on the surface of your body to protect it from other things that could harm you way worse than that dirt. So taking two, three showers a day is unnecessary. That's what my science teacher used to tell me. So I usually take a shower like around this time at night, but I, I woke up this morning and felt the need to get in the shower. Not thinking about that I had to work and I was going to come back and get in the shower again, but it's okay because it's okay. A little shy and never hurt nobody. So I'm about to hop in the shower. This is what I look like. I would turn off the camera, but I don't feel like just looking big and crusty. Big and could barely breathe. You know? I'm trying to gain 10 pounds, y'all. But at the same time, I feel like I should stop. Because I'm starting to like my little shape. I'm like, I'm starting to look like being petite. I'm rambling, but I'm about to get in the shower. I'll talk to you guys when I get out the shower. And not that anybody asks, but I'm, I'm about to show y'all the oils and lotions and stuff that I use after I get out the shower. So first we have hydrocortisone. Hydrocortisone ointment. This is for like, this is for people with eczema. Or I don't even think you guys have to have eczema, just really rough skin. I got to prescribe because I have eczema. And yeah, it keeps my legs soft and not itchy. And yeah, it's very thick. Um, they come in these little tubes, if I can get it out. But it's actually really good for your skin to keep it like clear from like bumps, rashes, scars. Yes, yeah, so I use this. Hydrocortisone is what it's called. Extra doctor to get it prescribed. Subscribe. Yeah, I know what I'm trying to say. Um, and then I use, also use coconut oil. But I didn't feel like going to mom's room and get. But I do I use this. This is like. This is like the best stuff ever. And then I use this. Yeah. I don't put Bath and Body Works lotions all over my body. I, sp I p may put it on my neck before I spray perfume on. Or may put it on my hands. But I do not put it all over my body. Because in my opinion, it's not body lotion. It's fragrance lotion. So yeah, so those are the things that I use when I get out the shower to keep my legs soft. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you guys are all having a blessed day. Do not forget to thank God and do not forget to spread positivity. Be that girl, okay? Be that girl to be the one who does things like that. But again, thank y'all for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe, tell a friend, and tell a friend. I'm about to go to sleep, so I love you guys. Good night.